Can I get everyone to gather up? Great. Um, okay, guys, well, welcome to the Museum of Natural History, and congratulations on being part of your high school science scholars program. Very cool. Um, so as you came up the stairs just now, I don't know if anyone noticed, but we actually traveled back in time <laughs> about uh, 100 million years or so to the late Cretaceous. Uh, so as we look around the hall here, we're, we're going to see some of the usual suspects, you know, um, Triceratops, yawn, <laughs> Pteranodon, snooze, or, you know, and, and Tyrannosaurus rex, or as I like to call him, Tyrannoborus, next. <laughs> Not that we can't learn a lot from these dinosaurs, but they all just kind of pale in comparison next to uh, the new arrival. You know, see if you can spot him in the hall behind you. He's only 122 feet long. So, um, uh, uh, we're referring to this guy as just the Titanosaur. Uh, but that's only because we don't have an official scientific name for him yet. So, um, you know, in the meantime, I've just been calling him Robbie Anderson Schieffer. Um, now, he's part of a bunch of sore thoughts. Yeah. Why do I call him that? Uh, good question. I think it's because he reminds me of a guy I knew in high school, actually. Uh, Robbie Anderson Schieffer. So, um, yeah, he was really big, also like, like this one, and, uh, you know, was, was athletic, like played football and basketball, but, you know, he was cool. Like, if he saw you in the hall, he would, he would say, what's up? He was not like, you know, oh, no, just another jerk. So, you know, he was really, really big and, and cool. Now, um, this Robbie, um, was here, which means uh, he ate plants. And um, yeah, we actually know this because we found fossilized plant material inside his stomach. So, uh, you know, for the proof that while all the tyrannosaurs are running around trying to eat everyone and beat everyone up, you know, there's Robbie just much out some leaves and ferns, being himself. Um, we don't need to join those guys. And that was the whole thing. Is that, you know, he, was, he was definitely big enough. I mean, he would have actually been like their leader. But um, <laughs> yeah, feel the need. And, and that was actually probably the most attractive thing. About it. Uh, yeah, uh, I know what he's, getting. he's you know 122 feet long. Um, he's yeah, he's, he's probably you know just some big lumbering brute who can barely move. But actually, thanks to biconvex vertebrae and porous bone structure, Robbie was very light on his feet. Um, he did uh, he was in Guys and Dolls, and he actually uh, <laughs> moment outside the stage. Who am I talking about? Robbie, the dinosaur. So, um, now, as far as me, uh, Robbie had lots of girlfriends, but um, the thing was, you know, they never seemed that serious, and that, that made me wonder, you know, if maybe his sexuality is a little more fluid than we previously thought, you know, which can definitely happen, and it definitely does, uh, but when I went to the dinosaur's house to ask him, his mom answered the door and was like, it's a little late for friends, so, you know, it's, bottom line is there's a lot we still don't know, <laughs> but that doesn't stop us from using our imagination. <laughs> uh, so, who wants to go downstairs and learn about the Gobi Desert, or as I like to call it, the Gobi My Dad? <laughs>